Hey everybody, this is Joshua Hopp coming at you from Denver, Colorado. Wanted to discuss uh, another frequently asked question that we get quite a bit, and that's going to be our Schwazing method. Hey, yes, that is a made up word. We made it up. Uh, we had to call it something. So we wanted to call it uh, Schwazing because it deals with scissors and cutting all the leaves off and it sounded cool. Those are the reasons I got for you. <laughs> and so uh, some of the things that we do though when it comes to schwazing is uh, pretty unique. We will take the, the flower plant or the plant when it goes into flowering and we'll strip all the fan leaves off of it. Uh, by doing it, we call them cactus girls because they're no longer nice big bushy plants. Um, but don't, don't get too concerned because give it a few days, they're going to bounce back incredibly quick. Uh, some of the things that we do when it comes to our schwas, we relate it to going to the gym. Um, if you beat yourself up at the gym, a lot of times it's going to make you stronger in the long run. So we do the same thing to our plants. Um, however, what you feed yourself after the gym uh, is very important. Just like what you feed your plants after a schwas is going to be very key for them to be able to bounce back. Uh, biggest reason is you're taking away all those fan leaves. Most fan leaves have nicknames, whether it's sugar factory or whether you know it's all the micronutrients that they have in there. Um, those actually make their way into the flower, as all you growers know. And so it's very important to, if you're going to re remove them from the fan leaf, to replace the micronutrients that they're going to be receiving from them in the feed line. Um, that's where Success Nutrients comes into play. We built it solely based off of off of uh, our methods and how to grow cannabis. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we had a nutrient line that was unique and different and not like all the other ones out there. Uh, everybody focuses big time on all the macronutrients, which are going to be your nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. These are the nutrients that are good when you're growing big ag crops and big commercial crops. Uh, when you're growing cannabis, it's very important to focus more on your potash, your borons, and etc. without getting too botanist on you. All your micronutrients, and those are the things that we replace in the feed line for success nutrients. Um, we do have an entire staff of people that are willing to help you along the way if you do have some questions or some curveballs come up in your grow. We're a phone call away. We encourage you to utilize that. Uh, like I would mentioned before, we mix about 5,000 gallons a day of water at um, our facilities. So we are around a ton of plants all the time. At pretty much any given time, you're going to have a little over 6,000, 7,000 plants on, on site as well. Uh, that's no exaggeration. We harvest about a half metric ton a month. So we're happy to help with all these things. This is something that we're very seasoned with, something that we've worked on for an incredibly long time. And so utilize our team. Um, if you can avoid that learning curve, it can get pretty expensive when you do things wrong, especially with growing cannabis. Nothing's cheap about it anyways. Um, another thing when it comes to schwazing uh, is going to be the whys behind it are going to be one, to provide optimum light penetration and two, to refocus the plant's energy. So when you strip the plant the way that we do, it's actually going to allow pretty much no shade spots in the entire plant. And so when you can do that, it's also going to refocus the plant's energy to all the tips. And that's where all the new flowers will be sprouting from, which is why if you've schwazed before, you've seen them bounce back incredibly quick uh, within, you know, sometimes as early as four to seven days. They're already looking like you didn't even schwaz them, which is wonderful, which means you got a great feed line that you're bouncing them back with as well. If for some reason you're schwazing and you're not running a success nutrient feed regimen, um, caution. I don't really know what to tell you. Be careful. Make sure that you, you know, um, you can contact us and get some nutrients for your own side by side, so you can see them bounce back the way that they should. A lot of people think that uh, defoliation is not the way to go. Uh, well, those people just haven't tried success nutrients yet, so they need to give it a shot and um, and be on our page because what we're doing is very unique, disruptive, and different. And those are the things that we're trying to do. Uh, constantly being dissatisfied with being satisfied is how you'll find a lot of the boys on the Three Alight team. Uh, we call it Three Alight because it's easy to stand by. Um, we're far north of four pounds of light with a lot of our a lot of our genetics. And uh, we encourage and we want to get you guys to far north of four pounds of light as well. And with that, be sure to give us a like on uh, Facebook. Give us a follow on Instagram. Uh, we got... We're getting some followers up there. We could definitely use a few more, so give us a follow. And um, subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're going to be dropping these videos more and more frequently and uh, trying to just get some more knowledge out there for free for people. And, yeah, if you do have the book, you do have the nutrients, utilize the staff and the team. You know, we're very passionate about what we're doing here, and that will hopefully come through when you're talking to people. If you do have any questions, if you guys run into any issues in your garden, definitely reach out to us and our team because we want to help even if it has nothing to do with success nutrients or the schwas give us a call 
If you guys run into some issues, like some thrips or some maybe some mites, Ooh, heaven forbid, those suck. Um, definitely give us a call because we've dealt with them before and we're happy to help. Uh, in the meantime, though, have yourself a wonderful day and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Peace.